Okay, so the season four finale of The Walking Dead. Holy shit. Let's get into this episode. It starts off with a flashback scene. And yeah, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was a flashback because you see the prison. And then you see Herschel. And I'm like, okay, this is a nice moment. And then you see Carol and Tyrese coming up. And I'm thinking, whoa, okay, how far back is this flashback? Then all of a sudden they cut to Rick. And it's sometime, even in the future, where he... He's sitting there, his hands are covered in blood, and he, and he looks like he did something pretty terrible. And I'm like, where is Carl? Where is Michonne? What the fuck has just happened? We see in present day, Rick is teaching Carl how to hunt. And I like that moment because obviously whenever you get father and son and Rick has to teach Carl how to, in this case, catch food, it was nice. Uh, but then immediately they hear someone calling for help. And Carl runs out and they see this random guy being swarmed by walkers. And it sucks because obviously Carl's first instinct is to help him. But Rick stops him and says, look, we can't help this guy. There's too many of them. It's too late. And we see him get eat up. And wow. I know it's somebody that you don't know, but still, that's even another thing is that this guy, he has his own story. Look how long he's been out there, probably, if he's lost his own group or, you know, and we see him die. And it's in that moment where I think Carl has to learn and realize that you can't save everyone as much as you'd like to. We get another flashback, and it's back at the prison where Herschel goes up to Rick, and then they show Beth. You know, Beth comes in to, to get Judith. And I see Beth, and I go, oh, Beth, like, talk about a character who, I'd say before the mid-season finale, I, I just thought was there. I didn't love her, I didn't dislike her. You know, she was there, she was Maggie's sister. But after those last few episodes with her, I really got to like her character. And now not knowing her fate and just seeing her in that flashback just really just made me, made me feel bad. Then Rick and Michonne are talking and the gang reaches them. And when I say gang, I'm talking about that group that Daryl was with who wants revenge on Rick for Rick killing one of their own. And I didn't know what was going to happen in this scene. It was, it was so intense. When Daryl comes up and he and he sees who they are, that's when he immediately is like, whoa, you let these people go. I get that you want revenge. And when he says for Joe to kill him, he says, you want blood? Take mine. I'm like, wow. I guess I've already known this, but seeing that Daryl was willing to risk his life or to give his life for Rick and for the group is, it was great to see, but then, of course... Joe's like, oh, you're lying. That's against the rules. And so they start beating them up. They said they're going to beat him to death. And I really didn't know if they were going to kill Daryl right then and there. I mean, they could have. Um, and then one of them grabs Carl. And it, he's this bigger guy. So he, he shoves Carl down. And then he, like, sits on top of him. And Carl's, like, screaming and crying and... And I'm not saying this was going to happen, but it sure looked like this guy was going to rape Carl. Now, maybe that's just me thinking the absolute worst. Maybe that wasn't going to happen. But it just it seemed like he was having too much fun. It seemed like I thought he was going to unbutton his pants right before shit happened. And when I say shit happened, Rick lost it. And he had to. He lost it. He sort of just snapped. He headbutted Joe. They started going at it. And he bit the guy's neck almost off. I mean, a good chunk of his neck, he just bit it off. Like an animal, like a savage. And I love that because it's a reminder of what this world is. That Rick had to go this far in order to save his son, in order to save everyone. Because otherwise, they were all going to die. Just then, 
you know, Darrow is able to get out and he starts killing them. Michonne does the same. They kill this whole group. And that was a little surprising because I thought this group would, I don't want to say become something big, but I just thought they were going to last maybe a little bit longer. We get another flashback of Herschel telling Rick that basically he has to farm. Another nice moment. And especially to see why Rick started farming. It's almost like even though they shot these flashback scenes after the fact, it's interesting that they helped piece together those gaps that was between season three and season four. And that's why I think these scenes were much, much needed. Rick and Daryl are talking. They're having a nice moment where Rick basically says, you're my brother. And again, I like this because it shows how close these two have gotten. And Rick, Rick hasn't had much luck when it comes to friends or people. Look what happened to Shane. Look what happened to Lori. It all ends bad. So the fact that he still has Daryl, the fact that they, they trust each other with their lives, clearly. Great moment. They both needed to hear that, actually. Uh, then we see Michonne tell Carl what happened to her son, what happened to her boyfriend and that other guy. And at first I didn't really know why she was telling Carl this at this certain moment, but I just got done watching The Talking Dead and they explained how Michonne saw that Carl was afraid of Rick. Potentially, anyways. And so she told him this to let him know that, hey, she's done some crazy fucked up things as well. And that Carl has no reason to fear his dad and fear her. That sometimes you've got to do shit like this. They finally reach Terminus. And when they get there, it seems friendly, it seems peaceful, it seems like an actual sanctuary. But the whole time I'm thinking, it's too nice. These people are too nice. And as cautious as Rick was being, as cautious as they all were being, giving them the looks and just not fully understanding what was going on. And then once they go around and they see that woman again who's cooking dinner, I guess, Rick notices that the guy, one of the guys, has Herschel's watch that Glenn had. So Rick freaks out, pulls a gun on him, and says, where the fuck did you get this watch? And I'm sitting there thinking the whole time, fuck, did they kill Glenn and that whole group? Are they the cannibals that I feared that they were? Is everyone dead? It sure was played up to where it looked like that whole group was dead. Glenn, Maggie, Abraham, characters we just met, just... And yeah, maybe I'm a little naive to have thought that, but it just it seemed like that was the case. And then they have a standoff where they have their guns drawn on them and Rick isn't backing down. He wants to know what's going on. One of them even had the poncho that Maggie was wearing. So again, it's, you're just like, fuck, what happened to the group? Then one of the snipers shoots... Uh, one of the Terminus guys and then they just start running Rick and all of them just start running but they're all shooting at the ground in front of them at their feet they're not letting them leave and they're closing off the gates they're running through the buildings and that's where you see some freaky building like this one room that has these candles and people's names on it writings on the wall it's pretty creepy Almost like some ritual, or like this is a cult-like group. And then they run in this outside area, and you just see this pile of, it looked like bones and meat, flesh, and you're like, fuck. They are cannibals. They have been eating people, and don't tell me that's the remains of Glenn, of Maggie, of everyone. I'm just sitting there like, fuck, you know? And then they get cut off again. They're surrounded. Everyone has guns. They tell them to drop their weapons. And I didn't know what was going to happen. They tell Rick, or as they call him, the, the leader. They tell him to go towards that train cart. Then they call Daryl the archer. They tell him to do the same. They call Michonne the samurai, which is funny. They tell her to go, and then they leave Carl there. 
and Rick is like, I'm not leaving without my son. And I'm sitting there like, don't kill Carl. As much as he's been a dick sometimes, as much as he's been a little prick sometimes, I didn't want to see him get killed because I know how much that would shatter Rick's world. He's lost Shane. He's lost Lori. He thinks, he still thinks that they lost Judith. So losing Carl would just be like, if you think Rick went crazy before, I don't know what that would do to him if he lost Carl, but they let Carl go with them. Then they go onto the cart and it's like pitch black. Um, and then all of a sudden out of the shadows, you see Glenn, you see the group, you see everyone, Maggie, everyone. And, and yeah, a sigh of relief of like, okay, they're still alive, good, but still they're in the situation. You know, they're surrounded in this area by these cannibals. And you're like, how, how are they gonna get out of this? But the last line of this episode just totally like fist in the air. You wanna yell fucking A, badass moment of the night is when Rick says, they're, they're going to find out that they've messed with the wrong people. Wow. I think in the comic books, I think I saw someone post a picture on Facebook that the line in the comic book, Rick says, they fucked with the wrong people. But still, it was just as, as powerful, just as awesome that, that seeing them in that dire situation, that, like, how are they going to escape? Rick still has that hope, still has that that desire, you believe him. I believe him. I believe that they're going to get out of this. And we still don't know what happened to Beth, unfortunately. For all we know, the person that grabbed her was from Terminus, and she's already been eaten. It didn't look like that Tyrese or Carol was there in Judith, so they're still out there, I guess. Uh, but man, what an episode. I love the season finale. A lot of intensity, a lot of crazy moments, and they ended it on such a high, such a such a high where I don't know where season five is going to go, but still I loved where Rick is going. That like he has become this badass of a character. I've always liked Rick, and I always known he had this in him, but now he's full fledged badass, and it's it's great. I really enjoyed this episode, guys. I've enjoyed this whole season. You never hear me complain too much about this show. Let me know in the comments below, what did you think of the season finale? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Seven fucking months. I gotta wait for season five. Later.